What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Quake Myers in here, man. The Scout Team All American. And right now, I'm in Walmart, man. I'm getting some stuff to preparing for this tryout, man. Shout out to the Orlando Predators for hosting the tryout right here in Orlando, Florida. To the right side, steps up, oh. throws on the run, oh. has Quake Myers across midfield. Yeah. To the 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Quake Myers. We got here with the Predators. It's early in the morning. You can see we tired, man. Yeah, man. We waiting the line right now. I know y'all see the logo. Yeah, we got you, man. Yeah, what's good? We back. Shit, we just stretching. Again, right, right now, registration. Yeah, about to get real, real soon. About to get real, real, real soon. Show y'all what everybody doing. Everybody chilling, getting right. Got some of them boys already out there on the field. Yeah, we cooling though. I'm finna stretch though, get right. Uh, I don't know if they gonna let me record the whole tryout or not, but I'm gonna keep it professional, low key. But yeah, man, I'm finna stretch, get right. Uh, Y'all boy, wish me luck, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I swear. What's good, YouTube? Yeah, right now we having a little intermission break out here at the Orlando tryout for the Predators. Uh, we just got done doing skill position drills. We did uh, 40, L drill, and we did the shuttle. I don't really know all my times yet, but when I find out, I'll let y'all know. But for now, we just a uh, five minute break and we finna go into position drills. Hey, uh, QB. QB. So right now, this is what it look like right now. Got everybody getting water. We separating QBs, wide receivers, all that good stuff. Yeah, shout out to the Predators, man. Well, yeah, that's it for me. We finna do wide receiver drills. So I'm gonna catch up with y'all boys. Yo, yo, what's good, y'all boys? Your boy Quay Myers here, and it's the recap of the Orlando Predators tryout. And after the tryout, I did not make the team. I'm gonna repeat, I did not make the team for the Orlando Predators. Uh, I ran the 40 yard dash, and I ran a 4.7. Running a 4.7 at any tryout, you can't expect to make the team. Uh, when I was training, I was clocking a 4.4, 4.5, so maybe I was a step off, or maybe the timing was wrong, but I did clock a 4.7. Uh, 5-10-5 drill, I did pretty good. I clocked the 4-3-4. Four, four. The L drill, I clocked the 6.9 seconds. So all of my other drills, I did pretty good for the individuals. Um, but when it came to the position drills, I only got two reps. And the two reps that I did get in at receiver, uh, quarterback didn't throw it my way. So for the most part, I felt like I competed. I just didn't get to showcase all of my talent. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so from that being said... We're going to go into the pros and the cons of the Orlando tryout. So, for the Orlando Predators tryout, there were some pros and cons, you know, from my point of view, from my perspective. Uh, someone who made the team probably has a different opinion, but this is my pros and cons, all right? So, for the pros of the Orlando Predators tryout, what I can say that I did like, uh, it was a legit tryout. Uh, the fact that they were actually there all the coaches the staff the founders the co-founders the gm the executives all that the fact that it was a real tryout it's, it's a real pat on the back lets us know like you know it wasn't a scam because i've uh paid online to try out for multiple teams and sometimes the coaches don't even show up when it's kind of like a scam situation shout out to the predators for actually hosting a real tryout so that's cool it was legit uh another thing that i like they gave us cold water you know being out there in that hot sun it was a good thing they gave us water so I appreciate that for the Orlando Predators. And another thing that I actually liked about the tryout, it was safe and it was fun. Uh, everybody went out there, they competed, they had fun. Nobody got hurt. You know, a lot of laughs, a lot of giggles, you know, and it was serious at the same time. So that's what I really liked about the tryout. Now we're going to go into the cons. All right, cool. All right, so one thing that I didn't like about the Orlando Predators tryout, they hosted the tryout at a middle school, you know what I'm saying? So like at a middle school facility, you can't expect them to have, you know, that high quality field presence, you know, that high quality facility. So the fact that it was a professional tryout at a middle school kind of put us who was competing a step behind because it's like, wow, okay, 
we're competing for a spot and also you know the field we're working on isn't the best so a little bit of adversity because the field had like a few potholes and a lot of dirt so i didn't uh fall short in it but some people got messed up in their drills just because of how the field was set up so the field could have been better overall it wasn't bad but it could have been better all right so going in next we got the 40 yard dash so for the 40 yard dash they only gave us one attempt that was you know i was like dang coach i don't give us one attempt but yeah for the 40 yard dash we only got one attempt so maybe if i'd had two attempts i probably could have brought that second attempt down a little bit faster but everybody only got one shot so that's just the way it was can't complain just is what it is that's just something i didn't like uh also um we were competing against recruits so you know every tryout no matter where you go come by meet whatever it's always going to be a few players who is getting recruited. So with that being said, me coming out there who the coaches didn't know me, I'm just, you know, a nobody. I was already a step, a step behind a few players. So they had a few recruits out there, people who pretty much, who they were expecting to come, didn't have to pay the fee to try out, pretty much was already on the team. But, you know, you had to compete against them anyway. And, uh, and to go along with that, there were some quarterbacks out there, but the quarterback didn't really get to warm up too well. So we, once we went into the position drills, the quarterbacks, you know, had some open receivers, but sometimes the throws fell short or, you know, vice versa. So that was something I didn't like. They didn't really get a quarterback's time to warm up for real, let alone some of them were average, some of them were good, some of them were below average. But, you know, just in general, the quarterback didn't have time to warm up. I felt like that was something that could have been a con or something I didn't like and competing against the recruits. So, you know, if you're a recruit, you're going to get the first couple of reps, you know. And then, you know, the other guys step up. So that's just one thing. And leading into that, the position drills were just all unorganized. Um, it, it's really like, you know, free for all out there. Once it comes to the position drills, it's just free for all. So there's, you know what I'm saying, there wasn't really no uh, individual analyzing and, you know, calling off the list and stepping up and, you know, it was just, okay, this is the play. Whoever's in line, get in line, go run it. Oh, if you catch it, hey, hoorah. If you didn't, blase, blase. So the way they analyzed us, I feel like they could have analyzed us a little better. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. But for the most part, yeah, um, yeah, I didn't make the team. I feel like I could have showcased myself a little bit more. But I ain't really too upset about it because, you know, I went out to the trial. I would say 75%. I didn't uh, put in as much work as I think I should have. So I can't really be too upset because there was still work that needed to be put in. So yeah, and then following on along with that, there's a few more trials coming up. So that's what I'm heading towards. Other than that, uh, my advice to you, <clears throat> my advice to you, if you're competing for any position or at any tryout, especially at a professional level, uh, you're gonna have to break the rules. Yeah, you're gonna have to break the rules. And I'm not saying like being disrespectful, but I noticed that these uh, tryouts, it's, uh, it's, it's not too professional as it may seem. I've seen plenty of guys cheating the drills to get a shorter time, and it just like kind of slipped right under the coach's noses. So that's one thing to consider. Just uh, when you try out, man, it's just a free for all. Break the rules, man. Go ahead first for it. Uh, do what you got to do to be number one. Honestly, uh, you can play by the rules if you like, but it'll be better if you don't even just play by the rules. Skip people in line, uh, you know, cheat your drills, cut it a short early, you know, just do what you got to do to make the team because at the end of the day, there's already recruits, guys who are already part of the team. So if you're a nobody, you got to get your name put out there some kind of way. But yeah, but that's it though, man. That's uh, my vlog slash review of the Orlando Predators tryouts, man. Shout out to all those boys who did make the team. Shout out to them boys who didn't make the team. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys who still putting in work. Cause that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna get back to the drawing board. And you know, so that's where I'm at with it. So y'all watching it this long, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy Quake Myers, man. Thanks for tuning in. To the right side. Steps up. Uh -oh. Rose on the run. Uh -oh. As Quay Myers across midfield. To the 40, there. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Quay Myers.